And now it is time for Lutfi's fanciful flannograph! The part of the show where Lutfi comes out with his fanciful flannograph and teaches a most important lesson! Hello, children! I am Lutfi, and this is my fanciful flannograph! By the color of my clothes and the shabrack in my hand, I bet you are thinking it is St. Patrick's Day! If this is March 17th, then you are right! That is because every year on March 17th, people everywhere celebrate St. Patrick's Day! A long, long time ago, in a country called England, a little baby was born. His name was... St. Patrick! Hold on! You are not old enough to talk. And your name is not yet St. Patrick. Sorry. Your name is Maywen Sukat. Hurry up and name me St. Patrick. Shh. Sorry. Maywen Sukat grew up as a normal little boy. Can I talk now? Yes. Maywen Sukat. I'm a normal boy. A normal boy with a strange name. Maywen went to school. He played. Church. No soccer balls in church. And he was kidnapped by pirates. Wait, that's not normal. If you were too normal, you would not have a holiday named after you. Good point. The pirates took Maywin to a country called Ireland. There he was sold as a slave and his name was changed. Slave bad, name change good. Hi, I'd like to request St. Patrick. Not yet. He was now called... Pig Boy! Feed the pigs, Pig Boy! Maywin Sucket has a rather nice ring to it. Now this was the land of the Druids, and the people there spoke a different language. But we'll make believe everyone spoke English, like Star Trek. Even the pigs? No, not the pigs. Okay. <laughs> The Druids also did not know about God. They practiced a religion known as Paganism. Paganism? Yes. Instead of praying to God, Pagans prayed to things like twigs. Oh, mighty twig, you are powerful and uh, twig-like. And pond scum. Oh, mighty pond scum, you are powerful and uh, scummy. And they painted with all the colors of the wind. And so it was that big boy Maywin Sukit went about serving his master, mopping his floors, feeding his pigs, and learning his language. Pig. Pig. Now Maywin was very far from home and very lonely. He remembered what he had learned in church about God loving him and always being with him. So Maywin began praying and talking to God. He prayed before bedtime. He prayed when he worked. He prayed when he ate. In fact, he prayed all the time. Why, in no time at all, he was praying over 100 times a day. That's a lot, but it's cool. Would you like to pray to me, Twig? No, I'm good. Maywin grew very close to God, and God took care of him and kept him safe. And one day, after Maywin had been in Ireland for six years, God told him it was time to go. Uh, all right. Later, pigs. Maywin walked and walked and walked. Two hundred miles before reaching the sea. Good day, Captain. My name's Maywin Suckett. I was captured six years ago by pirates and sold into slavery. Since then, I've been feeding pigs and praying 100 times a day. Can I have a lift? All right, then. The ship sailed for three days before reaching the coast. Then they set off on foot to the nearest town. But their directions were a little off. (laughs) 
After 28 days of walking, their supplies had run out. The men were starving. Are you starving? I'm starving. I'm starving too. We're all going to die if we don't get something to eat. See me win. You said you pray a hundred times a day. How about praying for some food? Yeah, man. Yeah, come, come on, on up. Oh, uh, all right. Amen. Uh oh. That's miraculously delicious. Ah, uh, you know me when you really got some going there. Thanks a lot. Don't thank me, Captain. Thank God. All right then. Thank you, God. Thank you, Lord. Now back home, the years pass by, and Mewen continued to grow closer to God. And one night, he had a dream. We beg of your horny oath that you should come and work again among us. Mewen dreamed that the people of Ireland were calling him back to come and tell them about God. Well, but you mind if I finish school first? I'm doing quite well. Ah, uh, no, no, take your time, no rush. All right then. So Maywin got his education, and because of his hard work and great love for God, he became a bishop. Which meant he had a lot of responsibilities in the church, and could help many people. It also meant that he got a new name. Patrick. Saint Patrick? Uh, the Saint part comes a little bit later. All right then. And Patrick made his way back to Ireland. Back to the place where he had been taken by pirates and sold as a slave many years before. Back he went to tell the people about God. So you see, God is like a shamrock. Oh, great shamrock, you are powerful. No, 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 no. This is simply a metaphor. Oh, great metaphor. No, 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 no. no. God is like a shamrock because he is three persons in one. He is God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Ghost. One God, three persons. Oh, we are like so So, are there any ways that God is, say, like a No, none that come to mind. Oh, all right, just asking. And so it was that through Patrick, the people of Ireland turned to God. And God blessed Patrick as Patrick blessed the people of Ireland. He lived a good long life among the people he loved so much and had been called to serve. On March 17th, in the year 416, Patrick died at the age of 73. And his name was changed one last time. This time to Saint Patrick. And that is why every year on March 17th, people all over wear a little green, the color of Ireland, and celebrate St. Patrick's Day, a great man who loved Ireland and who loved God. The end.